Are you looking for more information about Kapolei or one of the top places to live out here in the island of Oahu in Hawaii? Well, that's exactly what I talk about in this video. We're going to cover why everyone loves living in Kapolei, everything that it has, the amenities, where it's at, everything involved with it, all that and more right now. <music> What's going on? Welcome to the Living in Hawaii channel. If you are new here, this channel is all about what it's like living in Hawaii, the up, down, left, and right, everything that you need to know to make sure that you're ready for either your move out here to Hawaii or you're looking for that place that best fits your lifestyle, your goals, priorities, and needs. If you're not new here, welcome on back. Make sure you all hit that like button. It helps anybody else be able to find this information. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified anytime that I upload a new video on this channel. And look, we get so many people reaching out about either their potential move to Hawaii or they're already here and they're looking for the place that does best fit their lifestyle. And we absolutely love it. And you can do the same thing too. You can reach out, you can send us a text, you can send us an email, you can slide in my DMs on social media, follow me on Instagram, schedule your own appointment with us using the Zoom link down in the description below. However you wanna get a hold of us, we've got your back when moving to Hawaii. First, let's go ahead and identify where Kapolei is like we usually do so that we always have a good reference point and know where we're looking at on the map in the island of Oahu. So as you can see right here on this Google Earth, you can see that Kapolei is going to be located in the southwestern corner of the island of Oahu. Typically, we kind of look at the island, if you can kind of envision it as a triangle, and then at the bottom, we've got the port, the, the port entry in Pearl Harbor on the east side, and then Eva on the west side of each section, right? Kapolei is going to neighbor Eva Beach, and very uh, close to Nanakuli, right? So Nanakuli is going to be up on the west side, and then it's wedged in there between Nanakuli and Eva Beach. Kapolei also is host to Koalina which is our resort area out here. We've done a vlog tour of Colina. if you'd like to check that out. It will be available for you. I'm gonna have it pop up on the end screen for you and you can check out the area of Colina. It is a resort area, but it does not mean that you can't live there. There's actually single family homes, golf course homes, town homes over there in the Colina area. There's a preschool over there as well, but we got a little sidetracked. Kapolei being in that Southwest corner on the leeward side. Kapolei is in the Eva Plain, okay? And when we talk about the Eva Plain, we're talking about being down here in the southwest corner where it's a little bit dry and it's a little bit flat. Now, the caveat to that is Kapolei actually does have a hill-ish area called Makakilo, which we've also done a vlog tour of Makakilo. When you cross that intersection, you've got Walmart on the right and you've got Chili's on the left. You're gonna go through that intersection. You're gonna immediately start heading up a hill. You're gonna have your H1 entrance um, on the right if you wanna start heading east on H1. And you're gonna keep going up this hill. You're gonna see neighborhoods all around. You're gonna see a gas station, Malama Market. Uh, and a, you're gonna see a church. There's tons of different things going up, but this hill goes straight up. That's sort of the caveat to it being flat. Okay, but generally speaking, it is in the Eva Plain where it is a little bit hotter out here on the west side. And we have identified where Kapolei is. Let's talk about a little bit of these drive times because maybe you're wondering how far it is from Waikiki or if you're in the military, what base you might be stationed at. So we're gonna talk about those. Right here on the map, we have put in some directions for you so you can see that Waikiki is gonna be roughly 25-ish miles away. And if you're looking at bad traffic, it can get really, really bad, which is exactly what we have right here on this map image for you. I would say that you can estimate if you're trying to get to Waikiki Beach, or the Waikiki area, you're looking at roughly around a 40-ish minute drive, give or take, right? This really is traffic dependent, what's going on, construction, accidents, anything that may have popped up. But when you're talking about Kapolei to Waikiki, just go ahead and plan for a 45 minute drive to keep it safe. If you're in the military, specifically being stationed at Schofield Barracks or Wheeler, Ar Wheeler Army Airfield, excuse me, in the middle of the island, then maybe you're concerned about proximity to work if that's a thing for you. So let's go ahead and talk about how far it is from there. So Kapolei to Schofield Barracks is a very common thing. If you're not necessarily worried about proximity and you don't care to be 10 minutes close to work, right? Talking about Wahiwa and Mililani. If you are okay with a little bit of a drive, Kapolei is gonna put you roughly around that 30 minute mark, okay? Now, again, depending where you live and the access to H1 or getting over to Kinea Road, whichever route you decide to take, but Kapolei is gonna put you right around that 15 to 20 mile uh, distance, and it's gonna put you right around the 30 minute mark drive time getting to and from Schofield. Let's go ahead and look at airport distance, so Kapolei to the airport, but also let's talk about Pearl Harbor, Pearl Harbor Naval Base if you're in the Navy or 
Hickam Air Force Base because it's the now joint base. So for both of those locations, we're going to look at the map and check out drive times for that. With this map right here, you can see that there is a little bit of traffic at the time of this recording. And that's just to go ahead and let you know. See, so you've heard about the bad traffic that we can have depending on the time of the day and the things going on. But right here, Kapolei to Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, which is really, really close to the airport. I would go ahead and plan for roughly a 35-ish minute drive, give or take. But you can see that this is going to be around a 16-ish mile drive. Now, getting Kapolei to the airport isn't necessarily that bad. Again, it's all really just time of day dependent. If you're in the Navy or the Air Force, because it is Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, you're going to be looking at roughly around a 35-40 minute drive to get to and from work. And you're going to be going with traffic, right? So it's going to be a little bit more hectic uh, in the morning, depending on the time that you leave in the morning and the time that you get off work in the afternoon. Maybe you're just concerned how long it's going to get you to the other side of the island because you love to hang out in Kailua and do things over there. So let's look at the drive time to Kailua. Kailua being adjacent across the island, you can see right here that it's going to be roughly a 30 mile drive, give or take, depending on which routes you take. But it can be pretty hefty drive. You can see right here in this map, image because of the traffic going on it says an hour and four minutes on a regular weekend or something like that where there's no traffic depending on when you leave I would just go ahead and plan for 45 minutes but as you can see with traffic there are a lot of variables that come into play they got 55 minutes up here and it really can take that long to get over there depending on is where is you're going and what it is that you want to do now that we've given you some reference points and drive times and you have seen in the map images that we've already given you that traffic can really really hinder a lot of the traveling accommodations so a lot of variables come into play. Let's talk about some of these amenities in Kapolei. Kapolei is known as the second city here on Oahu, which is obviously Waikiki being the first or Honolulu being the first, right? And then Kapolei being the second city. Kapolei is one of the fastest growing cities and communities here on the island of Oahu and actually in the state, really. But Kapolei is, it's a little bit different though, as far as the vibe and the amenities that are, what it's looking like as far as the second city. Because when we think of the word city, right? We think of congested, high rises, all that stuff, right? Not necessarily the case in Kapolei. Let's talk about the, some of the amenities that they've got over there, such as good places to eat, right? There's a lot of good restaurants, good places to eat in Kapolei, local businesses with really, really good food. Actually, there's um, a place over there called El Mariachi that I love eating at. It's a nice little, like, just a nice little mom and pop um, uh, Mexican food restaurant. El Mariachi is one of my good places to eat. You got uh, the crab shack over there. I can't eat seafood, I have an allergy, but um, I've heard that it's really good and it's a nice place to hang out. I have hung out there, it's pretty cool. And then there's a lot of other things going on. There's um, some good supplement stores. If you're into the gym and taking protein, there is a gym over there. 24 Hour Fitness is in Kamakana Ovi. So 24 Hour Fitness is there. There's CrossFit gyms around in the areas. Lots of other cool things. If you're looking for a place kind of similar to Whole Foods, there is no Whole Foods in Kapolei, but what there, is, what there is, is a store called Down to Earth. Down to Earth is gonna be your similar to Whole Foods store. Down to Earth has, I believe it's vegan, straight vegan. I could be wrong. Please correct me in the comments if I am. Go ahead and fact check that. But it's right there in Kapolei, and funny enough, it's actually across the street from a Dunkin' Donuts. But, uh, you know, pick your poison. So lots of amenities in Kapolei when we're talking about what there is to do and when we're talking about beaches. So over there, you got White Plains Beach, you got Barber's Point. We've already mentioned Colina briefly in the video. And then when it comes to big box stores, if you're a big box store shopper, right? You got Costco, Home Depot, and Target, as you can see right here in this blog tour section. So what you're seeing is this clip of my blog tour. There's a blog tour on this channel where I take you all around Kapolei. I'm talking Makakilo, Colina. I go through everywhere in Kapolei and show you everything. But in that parking lot, you got Target, you got Ross, like I mentioned already, Dunkin' Donuts, Down to Earth, you got PetSmart, just nearby, you got the Lowe's, um, sorry, not Lowe's, Home Depot, Costco, tons of different big stores over there in the area, great places to eat. You've got a Duck Butt Grill over there, DB Grill, good stuff over there, highly recommend the garlic fried rice, or is it the, the duck fried rice? Um, and the wings, amazing, love it over there. Got some good soju if you're into uh, soju, but not gonna get into my habits, just telling you about the amenities and good places to eat. Support local, you got the Kapolei Commons Movie Theater. We've also got the movie theater Olena in the in the Kamakana Ovi Mall, which is one of the newest, the newest mall on the island. So lots of great things and shopping areas over there for you to choose from. Lots to do. I find myself in Kapolei 
all the time going to these areas that we just mentioned because I'm looking for things that I need either for myself or my family. Again, I already mentioned um, Walmart being at the Makakilo Hill where there's another shopping center where you got Longs, uh, you got GNC, you got Korean barbecue over there, uh, Safeway, tons of, <laughs> just, just tons of stores over in Kapolei. But it, like I said, it's not a high rise city. It's very, very spread out. And I actually like that. I like the spread out, like the, 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 the way that it's not congested. Um, Kapolei is really, really spread out. And that's something that I really appreciate about it. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the vibe of Kapolei. Now I've already hit this a few times, but again, it's not that congested city such as Waikiki, where everybody maybe is like hustle and bustle, on the move, kind of fast paced, right? Kapolei is more of a spread out city, and that being that way, right, there's not a lot of people congested in one area. There's a lot of different places that you can go within a few miles to keep it more spread out. There are a lot of people out walking, commuting, and those types of things, but there's a business district center. The vibe is not necessarily just hustle and bustle. It is a chill laid back vibe, but it's also not like small town vibes. By that, I mean by like Kailua per se, right? Kailua is that section over there on the windward side. Definitely California small town vibes over there in Kailua or even Hawaii Kai versus Kapolei where it's a lot bigger in area. It's like we got the resort area over here, but yet we've got the homes and, and the nice areas up there in Makikilo with those beautiful views. Yet we've got our business district down here, and then we got our high school, our middle school, our elementary school. So it is a, a really, really nice family friendly community vibe. That's the vibe that I get with Kapolei family friendly community vibe with lots of things to do. Lots of your, your shopping needs can be right there in Kapolei, but that's the vibe that I get is the family friendly community vibe. Kind of going back to that family-friendly community vibe, Kailua just really checks the boxes for a lot of people and families, right? Even if you're a single working class individual, Kailua may check that box for you because of all the businesses that are home or found their home here in Kapolei. So Kapolei does have schools. When we're talking about schools and checking the boxes for schools, you've got Kapolei elementary, middle, and high school, which you've always got to do your own due diligence. And again, I highly recommend greatschools.org or niche.com if you want to go ahead and check out school ratings and, and test scores and the data that is pulled together in these websites to get more information about those. But schools that are highly sought after for people living in Kapolei. Well, I had a client who moved here and his son uh, was really good at soccer and he mentioned to me right that uh, Kapolei actually has one of the best soccer programs here on the island to help his son not only do well in school but he can be at a really good soccer program where he can excel and chase that career path if he so choose. So that's just a little tidbit there. But Kapolei really does again check the boxes for a lot of the families who are looking for a very nice family friendly place to live a lot of parks, a lot of things to do in the area, right? You can head to the beaches, which are, you know, roughly 10 minutes away, depending on which one it is you want to go to. It really does check a lot of the boxes if you're looking for work or if you already have a job, right? And it may be host in Kapolei. You got the new hospital over there, or it's, not, it's, it's, a, it's a care center, hospital kind of thing. There's a lot of mix with that, but you can check that out over there. Maybe you're in the medical field. We also got Queens West in, in Eva Beach, which is 10 minutes from Kapolei, right? Because Eva Beach is the neighbor. So again, just really gonna check a lot of the boxes for the family-friendly community type. When it comes to outdoor activities, Kapolei is gonna kinda lack in this area. So this cut goes back to it being in the location that it's in, which is that southwest corner, leeward side, Eva Plain, all right? There's not a lot of hiking to do necessarily in Kapolei. There are beaches, which is great, right? There's beaches all around the island. Right, but there's some really nearby beaches. We talked about White Plains, which has an MWR over there where you can rent boards if you're military affiliated. Um, but you can head to Koalina. Koalina, you got the resort area over there. You got the, the resorts where you can walk around and check those out. You got the lagoons you can go hang out in, which are like really just cool little pools in the ocean. Pretty cool, especially if you have little ones. I love taking my little one over there. And then you got barbers, or you can just, you know, there's tons of different areas over there, really. But outdoor activities, there's not a lot of hiking. If you're looking to look at for hiking and waterfalls, you're most likely gonna have to commute over to the east side somewhere and venture out that way. So outdoor activities, there's a lot of parks, a lot of sports, which are really, really good. Um, I love seeing that type of stuff, but when we're talking about hiking specifically, not really gonna have that. 
not a lot of not a ton of tours happening out of Kapolei either, right? So when we're talking about like your dolphin tours, your turtle tours, and stuff like that. Those are a lot of those are on the east side as well, when the, the boat docks and stuff. But in the marinas in Hawaii Kai, Kailua, that stuff. But hiking specifically, not really going to have that in Hawaii Kai. Most of the time, I pretty much got to adventure out to the other sides of the island to do that kind of stuff. Again, Kapolei is just one of them really hot, sought after communities. A lot of people love looking for homes in Kapolei. It just really checks a lot of the boxes, meets all the criteria, has all the things that they're looking for. And if that's an area that you're looking to live in, you can definitely reach out. You can send me that text. You can send me the email. You can give me a call. However you want to get a hold of me, I got your back with moving to Hawaii or even Kapolei, right? Specifically for Kapolei if that's what you're looking for. All right, so don't hesitate. You can always reach out. And if you made it this far and you haven't hit the like button, please do so already. It helps anybody else be able to find this information. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you get notified anytime we put a new video out on this channel. I mentioned a couple different blog tours. I'm going to have all those pop up for you right now.